Okay, so uh, thanks for staying. Thanks for being here. Um, I know it's uh, afternoon and is uh, the last day. So um, I decide to um, make this next hour with you, more or less, a little light. And so um, the idea is uh, to um, come up with a project. So um, I would like um, to have teams. So the idea is that I will assign uh, a project to you. So we'll have teams, hopefully maybe five members for each team, and they will basically discuss the project. And then uh, um, one of person from the team will come over and present the result for a couple of minutes. Okay? There will be a panel. There will be three faculty, three people maybe, I'm going to check right now, that will be assessing the, t the teams. So the top three will get a little prize. And uh, we want to thank Kaust and, uh, uh, for giving the prize away. So um, enjoy a little bit of competition. We're going to talk a little bit about surrogate. OK, so here is the project that you have. So um, you just started with a company. And the CEO and the technical team is coming over. And basically, they're going to select the best team that can move forward and start working with the client, very rich client. Okay? So in order to be chosen to be you the one who will move forward, you need to come up with the best idea and present in the best way also. So what I have here, I said, um, so the CEO of the company, together with the technical team, will be choosing the best team uh, who can propose a sound idea to design surrogate for uh, gasoline and diesel. And so the team will be working with the client directly. And so now you're going, you're now heading to your first meeting, OK? I would like you to talk about three different points, and those cover a little bit what you heard this week, uh, not only from me yesterday, but Professor uh, Farouk, and you know, other um, people that talked about a little bit of fuel. So you're combining with this question, surrogate, fuel, some chemistry, and some engine knowledge. Okay? It's like a putting all together, and now let's talk about a design. So your goal is to propose an idea. It needs to be sound. Okay? So the team will assess that. What I expect is you to talk about the importance of a surrogate, so why the client should put money in this project, why uh, it's interesting to them. What do you need from the client? And that means the guy with an engine, okay? What do you need to know from them? And then the third one is that, uh, how would you propose to solve this project? So you have to design the surrogate. What's your thinking? What are your steps that you will take to deliver um, the best surrogate, okay? And so each team, please discuss the three topics above, and then one person from the team will come over and talk here. This beautiful stage here for uh, a couple of minutes. Try to convince the panel that they are the best. And um, I'll pass around uh, the piece of paper that just has uh, what you see now on the screen. And please, before talking, if you can turn this in again to me and uh, um, especially answer uh, questions number two, OK? Two and three, if you want. So can you um, try to arrange or have a five? A um, few teams, five people, and I'll pass those around. Yeah, that didn't quite, that was the point, but I don't think people got that. So yeah. oh, okay. maybe the five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're next to each other. What happened? You hear me for a second? I just am um, going around. I want to clarify one thing. I'm going to say, um, let's remove jet, okay? Otherwise, people get confused here. So, what I'm asking, the design a fuel for a diesel engine and a gasoline engine. One fuel for the gasoline uh, uh, engine, yeah, and one fuel for the diesel engine. Two fuels, two engines. Okay, who is the first team? Oh, the first person who wants to come over. Team number one. Okay, who is representing the team? Okay, come over. Oh, so you guys are down? So we will have four people. So Professor Farouk, um, Mani, Myself, Marion, also. So four people will evaluate 
you have a couple of minutes just to tell me to answer the question. So maybe I should put those back on. Maybe it's easier. Yeah. It is not going. Okay, so um, Hamad is the first one. We'll be talking team number one. Okay, you have a couple of minutes. Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, this is a great opportunity uh, to share an idea we have that can be uh, very helpful to, uh, uh, to develop, further develop and uh, advance our technology in engines and combustion. So uh, there are two uh, main engines that we are want to focus on in our project. It's uh, SI, spark ignition, and compression ignition engines. Um, these engines work uh, mainly on stochastic processes. It's too complex, too random. You, don't, you can't understand the process specifically with all this uh, complexity of the and different components in gasoline. So this idea we have is to use surrogates to try to reduce the complexity and the dimensionality of the process and try to better understand the system and how it works with the fuels we have. So uh, we want to have a surrogate fuel for uh, SI, uh, spark ignition engines, and it's a premixed process, so it's mainly dependent on the kinetics rather than the diffusion. So we want to have a surrogate fuel that uh, represents the kinetics of, a, of the uh, spark ignition process that's mainly based on TPRF, our suggestion is based on TPR fuels, and uh, so it uh, incorporates the uh, rea reaction kinetics and the sensitivity of the process without uh, focusing m uh, on the diffusion and the physical, pro uh, the physical properties of the fuel. For the, for the compression ignition engine, we want to focus on the uh, diffusion flame dependency of the, gas of the uh, fuel. So we want to focus on the distillation curve, the viscosity to represent the flow in the entry, and uh, the auto-ignition, of course, to, to understand the process. So uh, our idea is to have uh, a single uh, or a few uh, operators who can work on a computer that optimizes, uh, that we, have, we want to make a tool to optimize the uh, surrogate such that it, it would represent the different properties we want, the distillation curve or the auto-ignition. And uh, we want to have access to a few facilities that can uh, enable us to ver verify our testing and make sure that we have the kinetic re reaction and the whole process understood. So it doesn't require much money, but it does have a uh, great potential to improve our understanding. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Okay, team number two. Oh, come over. I, I didn't think you guys need this in the back. Okay. Couple of minutes. Oh, you took away the questions. Oh, here. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody will put it. Okay. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Hafaz. I'm representing my team with Noor, Sama, David, and Maram. And we have a nice discussion over how uh, we want to design the fuels or uh, surrogates for the diesel and gasoline engines. But uh, I would like to take the task by point by point basis. So the first question we have here is the importance of surrogate for engine simulations. So uh, as we all know, uh, the regular gasoline or diesel fuels are very complex, a mixture of hundreds of hydrocarbons and it uh, is prohibitively uh, expensive to model all these components and make a detailed kinetic model of all these components. That is uh, actually uh, near to impossible with current computational infrastructure. So surrogates offer us, us a very good way around. What we can do is we can make simpler representation of such fuels, and uh, uh, these fuels, these surrogate fuels will be actually able to emulate the most of the properties that we actually care about in such uh, engine simulations. So that's why we actually make this surrogate fuels. Uh, the second point is the specifications you need from the client before you get started. So <clears throat> the specifications will depend upon what kind of engine we are talking about. So for example, if uh, I'm looking into a gasoline engine, I would like to ask a few questions from the client that what kind of fueling system they are looking into, whether it's a port fuel injection, or it's a direct uh, injection system. 
that will dictate how, uh, what kind of properties I need to focus on. So for example, if it's a direct injection fueling system, I need to uh, concentrate more on uh, uh, <coughs> evaporation of the fuel and the mixing later on. So I would look into distillation curves, emulation of the surrogate fuel along with the real fuel. And uh, I would also like to know what kind of compression ratio the engine is going to. So I need to uh, ensure that how good I'm actually emulating the octane number and the octane sensitivity because the octane index depends on uh, RON minus uh, K, uh, which is dependent on the engine and the sensitivity. So I will have such kind of questions from the client. Uh, if it's a diesel engine, I will have a little bit of different kind of questions. Uh, again, what is uh, <coughs> the injection pressure because diesel engines are mainly direct injection engines. So if it's really high pressure and they're injecting fuels at really high pressure, I probably I don't have to bother too much about the uh, uh, evaporation because the atomization would be very well. Uh, Dr. Violi wrote a very nice paper recently in which he mentioned uh, emulating the heat capacity and density and viscosity ensures uh, liquid length penetration and ignition delay, auto ignition in the diesel engines very well. So we'd like to concentrate that as well. Uh, and at last, the point number three, the procedure for design of surrogates with estimate of the budget. So we have this tool here, which we call like fuel design tool in which we can put all these surrogates, uh, uh, put all these compounds and optimize the surrogate blends with the uh, actually matching the properties of the real fuel. So we are gonna use that and uh, <coughs> the compounds we are going to choose will uh, actually be compounds which are available and which are cheap so that we don't uh, spend too much money in doing so. So thank you very much. Okay, team number three. You have a couple of minutes, okay, so three minutes. Hello, uh, so I am Fatih Khaled and I have a group, uh, we are a group of six. Uh, it's me and uh, six of uh, our, uh, our team and uh, uh, so we want to present to you uh, uh, a tool or uh, our plan to develop a surrogate for, uh, for uh, two surrogates actually, one for uh, uh, gasoline engine and the other one for diesel engine. And uh, so the importance of surrogates uh, is uh, very straightforward. Uh, we don't, we cannot do simulations for real, uh, using a real fuel. Real fuel are, are composed of many components, thousands of them, and uh, most of them we don't have a real understanding of their uh, chemistry, so it's better to use surrogates, which are uh, usually uh, have uh, five, six components, seven sometimes. So it's easier, and these components, we have a very good understanding of their chemistry and how they ignite, their viscosity, their physical properties, their chemical properties, and so that we can do uh, detailed and sophisticated simulations using these surrogates. So uh, our, uh, our, uh, some of the specific, uh, specifications that we need from the, from the company uh, is um, maybe the power output of their engine, how, how big their engine should be, um, other, uh, what are the emission standards that they want to, uh, they want to uh, meet, and uh, that these are the, the important properties that we need, to, or specification that we need from the company. And uh, our procedure will be the following. So we will be uh, choosing uh, mainly uh, N-heptane and isoctane as the, the core of the surrogate, because these two fuels, they have, uh, we have a good understanding of them. There is a lot of literature about their ignition properties, their physical and chemical properties. And uh, above of that, we're gonna, need, we're gonna add uh, maybe dienes or toluene to add uh, to, uh, to, uh, to emit uh, or to, uh, yeah, to emit the, uh, the, uh, the octane sensitivity of, uh, uh, of the fuel to the engine, to the kind of the engine that uh, the company needs. Uh, we're gonna also add uh, some other uh, one, one other component, especially especially for the diesel engine, like endodecane, uh, to uh, to emit the cetane number of the of the of the of the required fuel uh, to charge uh, the diesel engine with. 
Uh, so that's, uh, that's our procedure. So mainly four components of each for the diesel uh, surrogate and for the, uh, for the, um, for the gasoline surrogates. And uh, we, uh, we think that mainly we, need, we will need, we need uh, computer simulations. Uh, so, uh, some, uh, so our budget will be divided into computer simulations and uh, experiments. Uh, maybe, maybe we will work with some universities, some labs in universities to do an experiment on the surrogates and on the real fuels as well to, to, uh, to validate that the, the surrogate uh, um, is, uh, uh, is correctly reproducing the properties of the real fuel. Okay, thank you. Okay, team number four. Good afternoon, so uh, it is a pleasure to represent my team, which will uh, focus on uh, uh, providing you surrogate uh, formulation uh, for, a, for a fuel in, in the design process of your engine. We understand that uh, we will uh, support the uh, engine design team, and of course the, the uh, important tool in this process will be CFD simulations. And, uh, as, as far as we understand the process, uh, uh, the, the crucial, the, the, the chemical kinetics is a crucial part, of course, but the CFD engineers would like to have chemical mechanism as simple as possible, preferably the global one, but that's, of course, not possible. So uh, <clears throat> we would like to focus on, um, on finding the compromise between accuracy and the computational time that is uh, something... Uh, very important for the CFD engineers. And uh, we understand that our uh, work is, is very important in order to enhance the process of engine design. So uh, <clears throat> in, in, in our uh, plan, for the, in the second part that we would like to know is a specification of, 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 of your needs of the fuel that you would like to uh, would like to have. There, there is a diesel engine and a gasoline engine. So we would of course like to know what is the octane number and Satan number, thermal, thermal energy, lower heating value, uh, emissions will be important as well, uh, comp compression ratio, type of engines, and uh, the size of it. So, and uh, the procedure of our work that we, we, have, we have planned is, is, is as follows. Uh, first of all, we would like to have performed a tests on a real uh, fuel. Uh, fortunately, recently we have been doing some networking and we have good relation with KAUST. So we believe that they will uh, mm, be able to, to provide us some experimental facilities where we would be able to um, test and uh, give the uh, properties of a real, of real fuel. Then, if we'll have these properties, we'll pr proceed further with uh, designing the uh, surrogate fuel, and uh, we will begin with the mm, characterizing, uh, getting the, mm, uh, we will be, uh, for the first choice, we'll take the, 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 the simple fuel, and we will emulate uh, uh, the experiments to get the negative temperature coefficient. Uh, and if we will have it, that we'll be, we will know uh, if, if the, our uh, oct number is accurate, then we'll proceed and we'll blend the fuel to, to get uh, the uh, accurate and proper uh, physical properties and so on. This will be some kind of trial and error process. So this is a kind of bottleneck of, of, our, of, 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 of the work. However, we believe that our team uh, with sufficient budget and, and, and the time will proceed successfully in this. And um, finally, we'll end up with an accurate uh, surrogate fuel. Thank you. Okay. Do 
we have a team number five? Okay. Hi, the first question was to know the importance of what, why we need surrogate. So yeah, as my other people explained previously, I think it's really difficult to simulate the real fuel chemistry because the mechanisms are unknown for most of the components of the fuel. So what we do is usually design a surrogate whose mechan using the components whose mechanisms are known. This helps us kind of get the physical and uh, chemical properties which can be used to do the simulation. So that is the main importance of the using of surrogates. And yeah, uh, the second one was the properties which we'll be requiring from the client. One of the things would be, we would like to know what, re what real fuel will they be using? Like the properties including, the physical properties include the viscosity, density, specific heat capacity, lower heating value, octane number, CTA number. And if they're using, I mean, for the gasoline engine, one of the property which wasn't mentioned previously was the flame speed. We would like to consider that as well. And also we would like to know the composition because this will be helping us to know the exact amount of uh, alkanes, N-alkanes or isoalkanes or different component aromatics we need to use for our surrogate. So that, those are the properties we'll be requiring. And the procedure is once we get the composition of the real fuel, we will kind of know the percentage of the type of species like isoalkanes or N-alkanes or aromatics. And based on that, we will choose the component for, our, for the surrogate. Uh, we can use a PRF or a TPRF or multi-component fuel based on the, what is the composition we got from the real fuel. So after that, we tune the percentages to meet the physical and chemical properties, octane number, and other different properties that is kind of required for, to match the properties of the real fuel. And yeah. All, we will be choosing surrogates which are kind of within the budget. So I think for now we consider a budget of about 50,000 euros for all the experiments and the simulation, everything. So that's it. Thank you. Team number six, right? Okay, perfect. How many more teams do we have? Do you have a seven? Yeah. An eight? Two more, I guess. One is there. What is the second one? Two, okay. Good afternoon to CEO, board, and uh, okay. Uh, I'm glad to be here and presenting my group. We are, um, and thanks for the uh, accepting our uh, candidacy. Um, nowadays, of course, we it's important to consider the new, uh, new innovative uh, fuels, uh, which, uh, for example, from uh, biomass is uh, treatment, and. Uh, these fuels, uh, for new generation fuels, of course, they have uh, uh, a lot of problems in the simulation and the, in, the, um, in the treatment in CFD, of course. Uh, if, you, if we think about the, uh, if you think about, uh, uh, the CFD of a uh, um, uh, combustion system with a uh, uh, coupling uh, of uh, uh, turbulence and chemistry, we need, uh, of course, the daily chemistry mechanism. And uh, for uh, this new uh, multi-component system, this is, uh, is going to be very hard to treat. And, um, of course, we need the, we need the, uh, the, 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 um, let's say the specifications are very tied to the, uh, to the procedures that we are going to make. Of course, they are uh, um, uh, affected the one by the others. Um, the specification must be, of course, the, 
related to the, uh, the, to the properties depending by, uh, on the temperature, uh, so physically, physical and uh, kinetic pro and chemical properties. Um, but uh, let's say that for, to understand um, the fuel we, are, we want to uh, simulate by surrogates, we need uh, to understand uh, the property of these fuels and uh, we need to carry, carry out uh, uh, the, a study, uh, um, experimental study uh, on uh, you know, ideal reactors to, understand, to well understand, for example, the ignition delay time and uh, all the uh, kinetics uh, um, property, uh, all the, the, well, the kinetic properties. Um, and uh, of course, this, this is gonna affect the, our, our budget. Um, uh, and I think about properties as, uh, of course, the um, octa number about the, about the gasoline engines and the uh, theta number about the uh, diesel engines. And, uh, but we need, uh, of course, also to understand the, the, to uh, know the flammability limits of, the, of, these, uh, of these fuels and, uh, and so on with the density, uh, viscosity, and, and so on. I, I'm thinking about to carry on, uh, to carry out the experiments on uh, P, PS, PFR or no, CSTR and, uh, and also, uh, uh, well, uh, near to the experience also with the uh, numerical investigation. Uh, for example, using uh, uh, software uh, like uh, Cantera or uh, Kemkin. Uh, we, we are quite confident to, we, we can make a good job with this, um, and so, and we can, uh, we can, we, the, the budget we need, uh, um, we, we, we are sure it's, uh, it's the better we, you can get. Thank you. Okay, I guess it's the last team, right? Oh, there's one more. Okay. Good afternoon. My name is Saif, and uh, I represent my team. Uh, I noticed to uh, the board of uh, the company that uh, our team is uh, combi uh, combining uh, that all, all the members of our team uh, is from uh, bachelor degree. So we will give you uh, a vision from outside the circle of expertise. So uh, to cover all th three uh, main objectives of this uh, meeting, uh, we will discuss uh, the importance of surrogates uh, in simulations. So in that discussion, we will uh, tell the board that uh, simulation surrogates prevent all kind of uh, experiments, uh, fumes and bad fumes, uh, that so it will be low emissions and uh, less evapora uh, evaporating rate. Uh, so the simulation uh, sort of a clean uh, process rather than the experimental uh, work. Uh, but in comparison, uh, simulation would be a very uh, expensive uh, choice if that simulation will use a lot of uh, hardware and software. Uh, the second uh, objective uh, is the specification that the client needs. So we will ask the client if uh, he needs more branches in the fuel or what's the efficiency uh, range and what's the heat rate, the ignition time, and uh, late ignition time, uh, what's the max, maximum uh, molecular weight that our team will, will have to uh, not uh, make, uh, I mean, uh, the, the maximum molecular weight that our team will operate under, so we won't cross that. And what's the flash point? And the flash point uh, is for the gasoline, not uh, petrol, uh, not uh, diesel. Uh, what's the temperature rate and what the pressure rate? Uh, lastly, uh, we will discuss the flame speed. Uh, the, th the third objective uh, of this team, of this meeting, will be uh, the procedure that will take place in our design and the budget. So, we will test the RON and the MON. We will uh, also uh, surrogates within the limits. 
uh, and we will uh, discuss the equivalent ratio limits or range. So we, went, uh, we wouldn't be below that or above that. Also, uh, the processes and the time of production of the fuel. So at the end, we will make a surrogated uh, a, a, a correction in the fuel. So this fuel, how, many, how much time and cost that it will cost the company in, in order to use this fuel in, in this new engine. Also, uh, the cost of uh, the man hour that they will test, and the cost of the supercomputer. And that's where we go to the budget, uh, budget uh, to talk about the budget. So for the budget, our team will, uh, <clears throat> our team will offer uh, the main supercomputers in the, uh, in the region that will be Shaheen here in Kaust and Aziz at uh, King Abdulaziz University. And to use their computers, our team uh, came up with the idea that in order for us to use the supercomputers with the minimum cost, we will offer to the universities uh, an opportunity to teach the students how to use CFD and how to implement the science they uh, taught in schools in order for us in return to have a CFD simulation with the minimum cost possible. Thank you very much. Team number eight. Um, hello, so I want to thank my team members for giving me some of the ideas about how to go to all the procedures here. So the first question about uh, why do we need sur surrogates and the importance of it is, uh, as explained by many uh, groups before, it's like we want to reduce the complexity in the mathematical modeling of the uh, real fuel, which is uh, because it basically comprises of the so many uh, components. So uh, regarding the second part of the question, that uh, uh, what are the properties we are going to uh, take care of? It depends upon the which. Uh, a specification uh, of the engine is there. So for example, like uh, compression engine, uh, ignition engine, we need to uh, go more about the physical properties like viscosity, density, boiling point, molecular weight, these kinds. And for the uh, uh, expert ignition engine, we want to know about what are the compression ratios and the ox uh, octane number and other stuffs. So uh, regarding the uh, uh, final part, which is the procedure, how we are going to approach to our procedure, to identify these uh, good surrogates. Uh, first of all, we will identify the major components of the fuel we want to study. Then we will identify the physical and chemical properties that are needed to uh, uh, emulate the real fuel. Then uh, surrogates should be easily available. So that means, so what I mean by this is that it should be abundant, in, uh, ab abundant and also it should be cheap. So that means we can uh, take care about the budget and experimental costs for this one. Uh, chemical model for the surrogate should be fully established and well understood because uh, uh, what our all objective is to reduce the computational uh, and uh, cost and math mathematical modeling of that one. So that must be the surrogates which we choose should be uh, like well understood the mechanism of the reaction and other stuffs. So. Uh, so chemical model should be reduced to simplify the mathematical intricacies uh, so that we can uh, minimize the computational cost again. And then finally, we are going to validate the physical and chemical properties of the surrogates using some experimental uh, procedures. Let's go. Okay, so um, I need, we, I think we need a few minutes to discuss among us. So if you guys maybe can uh, we take five minutes, just the panel, so we'll come up with the three teams, okay? So, okay. Ready? So 
uh, it took us a little bit of time because I think you guys, it was a good experience, I think, um, to see all of you appear. And all of you did well, uh, one aspect to the others. So it was a little bit of a decision there. Uh, it was not straightforward for us. So I appreciate the effort. So thank you so much for joining us in this project. OK, so after some decision, we, um, we will give some few very small tokens, price only to two teams, because we noticed that the teams are more than five people. And so um, the second team is going to be team number one. So if you please can come over. Good job, guys. Okay. 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 You wanna? No, that's okay, go ahead. It's so. <laughs> okay. Picture. A picture. Come on. <laughs> Manny, you want to come? Okay. Okay. Okay, the first team um, is team number seven. Okay, thank you everybody for participating. <laughs> for you. For me? Yes. Okay. okay, that was fun. Okay. <laughs> for those who did not win, don't be discouraged. No. There'll be many more proposals to be rejected in the future and to be won as well. Okay, so don't worry, that's okay. how our game is. <laughs> so, uh, I would like to thank uh, Professor Violi again for behalf of all of us. I think we all learned a lot about kinetics, surrogates, biology, nanoparticles, emissions uh, from her lectures. And uh, really thanks for engaging everybody, inspiring us that uh, not only for the women in combustion, but also the men in combustion, that there's a lot to do still in terms of research and development to, to make combustion cleaner and more benefit for, for our society.